All right, so I want to talk a little bit about this program called SFEED. SFEED is an RSS and Atom parser. Um, so all it does is you give it an RSS or Atom feed, and it'll parse it and output it, uh, you know, in a, in a tab-separated format, a tab-separated uh, values-like format. Um, and essentially what it tries to do is make RSS feeds easier to deal with using the command line because RSS and Atom feeds are XML uh, which is not very command line friendly um, but with S feed uh, it becomes a lot easier to deal with so as an example um, I came to the Sockless website and downloaded their Atom feed uh, which I think has just appeared on there fairly recently um, but if we look at, uh, I downloaded it in uh, atom.xml, if we look at it, you know, it's what you would expect. A bunch of uh, atom entries with, you know, title link, uh, all this uh, metadata about the RSS feed. So what does S feed do? Well, if we give it um, atom.xml, It'll print all of the metadata information out, except in a nicely formatted way. So you can see that's you know your time since epoch, uh, Unix time, you know the date, uh, a link, a description, uh, what type it is, and. Um, I guess a direct link to it. So it has all this information about your feed. And from here, it also comes with programs like um, SFeed Plane, which will convert this, you know, pretty ugly tab separated format into, you know, just a nice, uh, you know, where, format where the columns are aligned. And it, it just looks a lot nicer. I'll show you. Yeah. So normally you would have a title here, but on the Cycles website it just has dates. So the dates serve, or yeah, the dates serve as a title. Um, but on a normal RSS feed you would have the title. So here you can see. It's, we have a nicely formatted RSS uh, feed, which then you can, for example, type into Vim, or really do whatever you want with, uh, in order to, you know, make it actually browsable and interactive. So I have it open in Vim, and if I want to open the link, I can just hit GX, and now it'll open it in my web browser. So that's S feed for the most part. Um, I should add there's also uh, a fairly important feature uh, called S feed update. And this command, it's probably the most, it, it's what turns S feed into, you know, a functional RSS or Atom client, kind of, or what allows you to make it into one without any external dependencies. So, what in what SFeed update allows you to do is you can specify a list of RSS feeds that you want, and um, it'll every time you run this command with you know your SFeed RC, which will contain these RSS feeds that you want. Um, it will update, it'll, it'll save the RSS entries to a file uh, for each feed um, and it'll just continually build them even as old items uh, disappear it'll still be in the file at the bottom and new, art, new items will be at the top so as an example um, let's look at one of my uh, 
heats here. Um, let's see. I don't know. Let's do the XKC one. So you can see this is not very readable. It's not designed to be. It's just the same format that the main SD program uh, the output it in. So what you can do with this is you can cap this into. I guess I could directly, you know, use a indirection, but I'll just cat it into SD frame. And it'll output it in a nice format. So this allows you to transform remote RSS feeds into, um, you know, nice into a nice format, and you know, continually update them as you would do in a normal RSS client. So, as an example, let's look at my uh, SVRC. So we have just a few feeds, and you can see how you specify them. You just type feed the title, I guess, but whatever you want the file name to be for that feed, and um, a link to the Atom or XML uh, file on the internet. And all this does in the background is download that file, um, run it through your SVD program, which converts it into the tab separated format, and then it uh, adds it to the top of one of these files in your Beats file. And the cool thing about this is since it's just tab separated entries in a file, you can combine them, manipulate them, do whatever you want with them uh, using just normal Unix tools. So for example, if I wanted to create a giant list of all of these, all, all the entries in all of these files, you could do, um, you could concatenate them in cat, which is its original purpose, just doing that. It'll, that'll match all of the files in there. And it'll output a giant list of all the entries. And then of course you can um, use sort to sort them by time, and then you know head to get the first ten entries or whatever. But one cool thing that SP also does is if we look at um, yeah, we got the X case. Actually, let's put that into a speed plane. Actually, this one doesn't have it. Uh, let me find a feed that does have it. How about da -da -da, slash dot slash dot ought to have. So you can see there, there are a lot more items here, but if we scroll all the way up, you can see all of these have an N at the beginning, which means they're new, uh, that they were pulled within, within the last 24 hours. So using this, you can, you know, cut all of that and grip for the beginning of line n and pipe that into SV plane. Oh it doesn't like that. Maybe I need that. Um oh I wanna do SV plane first because that's what puts n at the beginning of the line. You can see this is all of the new file or new entries from all of my feeds. So this is just an example. You can use built-in Unix tools to do whatever you want with these feeds. And um, you know, using this format S feed is designed to work with them. So for example, to make things easier for myself, I found S feed update uh, to SFU. So that'll go and pull all of my feeds. Um, and then SFV will show me, sorry, SFV and then 
one of my feeds, so let's do uh, XKCD again. That'll show me all the entries in my XKCD feed. Uh, it just pulls directly from SFeed plane. And then SFN, that'll concatenate all of my new feeds and open them in Vim. And then using Vim, I have it set up so that I can, you know, just hit leader O and it'll open it in, uh, that's not what I wanted. Leader O, it'll open it in some, uh, in VLC, uh, in this instance. But, uh, you can make it, open it in whatever you want to. You can just pipe, you know, your link into a shell script or whatever and do whatever you want with the link. So, this is just a taste of what SFeed is capable of. Really, it's not SFeed that does all of these things. It's SFeed that enables you to do uh, whatever you want with your RSS feeds. So, like I just showed you, I created an entire interface to uh, open, uh, update, and uh, just view RSS feeds uh, using SFeed as a sort of backend and then this a front end. And I like that because, you know, it's one set of key bindings for everything. I can perform BIM operations uh, on my list of feeds. Uh, you know, it's then you can do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, it's a entirely capable interface on it in its own right. So it's SFeed that enables you to do all of these things. Um, if you want to get it, uh, it's available at codemanus.org. If you go to the git link and as you can download it here, uh, there have actually been quite a few uh, updates since the last time I downloaded it. But if you want to check it out, this is where you can find it. It's a really cool program. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah. Uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.